No one wants to see a process server at their house, and certainly not one who's under the influence. But that's apparently what happened to one family in Hermitage last week. News Channel 5's Jennifer Reyes says the server mistakenly showed up at their grandmother's house. Jennifer? Yeah, Rory, the suspect in this case claimed to be an officer there, there to serve grandma with some documents, but he got a lot more than he, what he bargained for when he went into the wrong house. And I'm going to get a cake. 85 year old Virginia Strong is never alone for long. Her daughters and granddaughters are almost always home with her. But last week they stepped away for a few minutes, long enough for someone to get inside. She's a little innocent. She's, she's 85 years old and she didn't know anybody was in there. Kristen Strong Taylor says she pulled up to her grandma's house to find a strange car in the middle of the road. When she looked toward the garage, she saw 31 year old John Mastin inside. I seen him come out of the office and slammed the door. You could even hear how hard he slammed the door, the office door, and then he went into the garage. That's where she and her husband confronted him. Kicked the door closed to where he couldn't come out and run. When he did try to run, well, let's just say it didn't go well. This is what he deserves and this is what he gets. And he got kicked in the throat, he got beat up. Police say Mastin is a process server, and the day of the incident, he claimed he was at the wrong house. Kristen shows us the note he left at the front door. We, we don't even have civil warrants to be served us anyways. She says even if he was working, he was in no condition to conduct business. He was completely intoxicated. Um, they found drugs in his pockets, Suboxone strips, Xanaxes, um, marijuana. They, no, he was completely intoxicated. No one knows just why Mastin was inside or what he was planning to do, but Virginia Strong's family says they have no plans to leave her alone again. It's my world, and I don't know what I would do without her. And John Mastin was charged with public intoxication, aggravated criminal trespass, and drug possession. He's already out of jail, and as you can imagine, that's not sitting well with this family. I did contact his employer to check on his employment status, and I've yet to hear back from them. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Jennifer Reyes, News Channel 5 HD. All right, Jennifer, what a story.